Public policy polling has conducted an extensive poll investigating Republicans and Democrats' belief in the conspiracy theories. Now, the term conspiracy theory is used to simply demonize people who do not trust known liars. How many times have big corporations and governments been caught lying? Secret medical experiments, uh, lies about WMDs, the list goes on and on. And the corporate collaborator media that works with the government continually demonizes anyone that says that there are corrupt special interests trying to use government to oppress and rob the population. But $85 billion a month for years is given to foreign offshore banks of U.S. taxpayer money. I mean, that's in the news. Uh, there are clips on CNBC where uh, they admit that we're now under the control of global government run by private central banks. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world, the central bankers in charge? Jim, Jim Urio, you say we've got some downside here, a correction in the markets, fine. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? Aren't we all just counting on the fact that there's a Bernanke put, put and that we won't go any lower than, say, 5% uh, down from here? Of course we are. To answer your question, we are absolutely slaves to central banks. Mr. LeCamp, do we work for the uh, central we know, bankers? We know that Mr. LeCamp, we do. do. We this is a free. We do. That's how the ultra rich actually get most of their money: is using government to consolidate the general population's money and give it to themselves in corporate welfare and bailouts. So, of course, their paid-for media that they own is going to sit there and lie to the viewers. You have to understand something. The public policy uh, polling group comes out and says, do you believe in the conspiracy theory of world government and a corrupt cabal that wants to take over? The very way they phrase that, oh, the, do you believe the conspiracy theory? Just like they ask, do you believe in the conspiracy theory that billions of bullets have been bought? Do you believe in the conspiracy theory that there are Homeland Security drones? I don't know, it was in Associated Press and Wired Magazine that three years ago they are arresting, quote, uh, poachers and, and, and cattle rustlers with them. It's like saying, do you believe in the conspiracy theory that the sun came out? What they're really doing is saying, hey, culturally, you're not allowed to believe there's corruption, and we're going to ridicule you and put a label on you if you say we're liars. Think of the hoax of coming out and saying, oh, close to a third of Americans, sadly, believe there's a move to establish global government. When the Vatican's calling for it, when British prime ministers and Al Gore and the head of the European Union, Herman von Rumpy, and just hundreds of others have called for a new world order, and then they define it as a global corporate government run by private banks that you pay carbon taxes to. But it is the awareness itself that will drive the change. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. But the many business leaders who have been present here uh, are among those taking leadership in other ways. Yet these problems can be overcome by a joint effort in our, and between our countries. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen is another step towards the global management of our planet. This is collective action, people working together at their best. I think a new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. That's their definition in the Financial Times of London and now for world government headline written by their foreign desk editor. That's the definition in Time magazine, a bank of the world. So I'm reporting on real things and they're saying, oh no, he's a dangerous conspiracy theorist. Remember Robert Gibbs, the former White House press secretary saying, he would be ordered to lie about drone programs that are on record to exist. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, 
you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. <laughs> you're not even to discuss that it exists. Wow. And so I would get a question like that, and literally I, I couldn't tell you what Major asked, because once I figured out it was about the drone program, <laughs> I realized I'm not supposed to talk about wow. it. And, but here's what's inherently crazy about that proposition. You're being asked a question based on reporting of a program that exists. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you're the official government spokesperson exactly. acting as if the entire program, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Right. What's happening there? They're counting on the public not going and looking at the documents or not going and finding out there really are 2 billion bullets or 30,000 drones funded in the new FAA funding last year and that they're launching now. And it's not just people like Robert Gibbs on the so-called left. It's gatekeepers like Glenn Beck who says there are no FEMA camps, even though there are official army documents talking about their establishment, where it talks about re-education and taking your social security numbers and the army confiscating your guns and the civilian inmate labor camp program and the Emergency Centers Establishment Act. But Glenn Beck can just say, none of that's true. Alex Jones is a fascist. He's not a conservative. He's a liar. And by the way, they haven't gotten millions of bullets. Don't believe him. It's amazing because he runs Infowars when really smart people have come up to me and said, you know, I just saw this on something uh, uh, from Infowars. Do you know anything about it? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yeah, stay away it. from it. Immediately discounted. Somebody came up to me just two days ago and said, uh, we just bought like 1.5 billion rounds of Homeland Security. And I said, I don't know, might be. Um, well, I got it from Infowars. And I'm like, oh, okay. okay, well, no. <laughs> then I can tell you right now, it's most likely not true. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can have a debate about the world government being established that's totally authoritarian, if we can have a debate about the government arming to the teeth while trying to disarm us, if we can have a debate about the things that are happening in this culture, then we can change things because we have right on our side and the facts. But we can never get to that debate because they just say, no, it isn't true. And you're like, well, yeah, it is. And the debate becomes, is it real or not? What will shatter that is if you will go search yourself for the civilian inmate labor camp program at army.mil. If you will go and if you will research uh, the uh, different data sheets that Paul Watson and others have put together, like bankers declare U.S. and Europe conquered, that is full of dozens of video clips and links to establishment publications announcing world government as a good thing. You see, if you promote a corporate fascist world government as a good thing, why you get invited to the Council on Foreign Relations and on CNN. But if you say, hey, I don't want an unelected group of bankers looting me and uh, taking my liberties and robbing my pension fund, well then, what are you talking about, crazy man? That doesn't exist. They're playing mind games with you. So as Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify. Go out and check my claims. Find out they're true and then ask yourself, why are they lying to you? The answer is getting in their face and saying no. Because if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. There's not some secret cabal of good guys that are going to save you. It's me. It's you. It's us that are going to turn the tide. It's always been that way throughout history. So don't just let the globalists dictate reality and tell you there's no drone program, there's not two billion bullets. Speak out. Tell the truth. Show the evidence. It's on the federal government's own websites. And more and more people will start having the courage to tell the truth. There are a lot of people in the power structure who aren't really bad, but they're scared and isolated. Like Pat Robertson. He's coming out more and more and criticizing tyranny. Long trains full of armored vehicles, personnel carriers with armor. What are they for? The army going into battle against the enemy? They're used by Homeland Security against us. Ronald Reagan said the most fearful statement in the English language is, I'm from the government and I'm here I to help you. Oh, boy, I totally, yeah. totally well, agree. Imagine what Homeland Security is doing. It's just awful. But we're going to talk about how much ammunition they're stockpiling. Who are they going to shoot? Us? I'm Alex Jones signing off for this report for InfoWars Nightly News. Be sure and subscribe to our nightly news at prisonplanet.tv. We fight the construction of the prison planet 
with the info war. We're working as hard as we can to create a new renaissance, a new enlightenment for humans uh, into the 21st century instead of the new dark age, the war against reality that the globalists are pushing. And finally, that's what the new issue of InfoWars Magazine covers, available at InfoWarsStore.com. Please support our fight for liberty. Please join us in that fight. Please defend reality. New World Order is the headline in the Globe and Mail in Canada as we listen to this caller from Queens in New York. Good morning. Good morning. Um, two quick points. First point. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new and it is not order.